The Trump administration, the same ones who say, oh, it's just fine to reopen the schools. It's just fine. You need to go back to work, even though there's a pandemic in place. Uh, they've got some new ideas about what you should be eating. Uh, you may want to stay away from chicken for a while. Check this out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Welcome back. Tom Harbin here with you. Tony Corbo is on the line. He's a senior lobbyist at Food and Water Watch's food campaign, Food and Water Watch A&D. Foodandwaterwatch.org is the website and Food A&D Water. Food and Water is the Twitter handle. Tony, welcome to the program. Uh, it's okay for us to eat chickens that have cancer. Do I have that right? Well, that's, that's what the USDA has, uh, has decided to do in, in granting a uh, petition filed by the National Chicken Council. So why does the National Chicken Council feel it's important that Americans eat chickens who are infected with cancer? Well, it's, it's, they, filed a, they filed a petition on, on uh, March the 1st, 2019, arguing that uh, avian leukosis, which is a viral condition in, in, in poultry that causes tumors to appear um, on the skin of, of, of chickens and also in the various organs, is not a food safety issue. And in fact, the way that uh, USDA had, had uh, wanted them to, to, to uh, sample for, for leukos leukosis was an undue burden on the industry. And, uh, and so they filed a petition asking that the sampling regime be, be abolished and that if, if, um, if uh, a, a, a chicken carcass uh, appeared to have leukosis, all, all that needed to be done was to, to trim, to, to use a knife to, to eliminate the, the tumor. Up until now, if, if, a, if, a, if a chicken carcass uh, uh, had uh, leukosis, it, the, the carcass would be condemned. The entire carcass would be condemned and, and, and removed from entering the food supply. Right. Is this, uh, I mean, we know that there are viruses that cause cancer. Probably the most fa famous one for humans is the human papillomavirus, uh, which causes uh, uterine cancer and, and uh, throat cancer and other kinds of cancer. Um, so, you know, here we've got with chickens a virus that is causing tumors. Um, is there a concern that this virus may be a human pathogen? Is this, I mean, is there a legitimate health concern here around this issue, or is this more, oh, that's pretty grody, we're eating tumors? Well, I mean, the, the, the thing is that it, 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 it's not as, 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 as COVID is, you know, a zoonotic disease that, that can be transmitted from, from an animal to, to humans, but, but yeah. up until now, the, the the USDA has considered uh, leukosis to be to be uh, a condition that is unwholesome, um, and so from a food safety standpoint, where where you could contract um, a disease from from eating chicken that had leukosis, no. But it 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 it, it was it is a, a gross condition, and so and so uh, USDA for ever since the, the the Poultry Products Inspection Act went into effect in, in 1957, this particular disease was considered to be unwholesome and, and carcasses had to be destroyed from, from entering the, uh, the, the, the food supply. Is this, is this virus starting to rip through? I mean, I, I, you know, back in 1957, most chickens that were consumed by humans in the United States were probably grown on small family farms. I mean, the, the, this explosion of factory farming really uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it came out of the 1980s by and large, late 70s through the early 90s. Um, and now basically most, uh, most of our chicken is coming out of these giant factory farms, which are just like breeding pits. Is that, is that what's happened here? That you know, you've, when you've got a million chickens in a facility and you've got an infectious virus that causes you know, tumors, that you just can't stop it. And so, hey, we, you know, America's just got to eat this stuff. Yeah, I mean that's. I mean that's that. You make a, a very valid point because of the way uh, farming has has changed, uh, and and um, we have these 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 massive operations that you know once a virus you know makes it into a flock, it it'll spread like wildfire. And so while there while there is there are vaccinations that that can control this virus, it's not completely been eradicated. So. So what what essentially the chicken council is is saying don't look for it anymore. Just you know even even if you have uh, chickens that are infected with with this particular virus, 
it's okay because it's not a food safety concern. And 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 so so we're gonna allow we're gonna allow sick chickens essentially to go onto our dinner tables. Right, right. I you know a large chunk of the of the animal products of the animals that we that we feed and and slaughter uh, in the United States are actually shipped overseas. China is the the largest market. In fact, the largest pork producer in America, I believe it's Smithfield, is an entirely Chinese or a largely Chinese owned company. And at the time that George W. Bush, or excuse me, that Donald Trump was saying, oh, there's going to be a shortage of meat, and the industry was saying there's going to be a shortage of meat, they'd actually increase their exports uh, to China at the time. Um, is that the case with, with chicken as well? And is there going to be a backlash by foreign importers of U.S. chicken to this? I mean, is this something that could uh, you know, take a bite out of the industry? Or uh, do they have some way around it? Uh, what, what's, you know, because I, I, the Japanese in particular, I know, you know, American exports, they're very, um, you know, concerned about. No, it, it could it could very well, you know, impact our export markets. I mean, it, it's, it's it's interesting that when when the uh, the Poultry Products Inspection Act was 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 passed by by Congress in, in 1957, it explicitly said we have to remove unwholesome poultry from the food supply because it's it it, it can impact the industry both domestically and and for our export markets and yeah china has 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 resumed um, uh, importing uh, poultry products from the United States, and it's and it stopped for a while as as part of the the, the wonderful trade war that that Trump started. But it, the, the 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 poultry exports have have resumed to China and to other markets. So this could have an impact on 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 the export market. 